Hey there, guys. In this lecture to supplement Brian Lavoque's text, I'm going to talk about what he refers to as the crisis mentality in early modern Europe. When Lavoque talks about a crisis mentality, he points to a few key features, and you find these littered throughout the book, and we're going to talk about them more in our discussion groups. First off, I mean, there has been rapid population growth and then rapid depopulation, back and forth, back and forth. And that if you think about it, like freaks people out, like a lot of people die. And then a couple of generations later, you build up your population and there are large amounts of people and everybody's got 20 cousins and then a whole bunch of people die. Like when that happens again, every couple of generations, it really upsets social balance. Why do rapid population and depopulation uh, events happen? Plagues and famines. These are the reasons that population suddenly shrink. This crisis mentality is buttressed by religious change and political change. Everything from develops in feudalism to the Crusades and other religious movements. So this causes a lot of social upheaval. And obviously war causes social upheaval. And during the Middle Ages, you see a lot of small skirmishes all the way up to giant wars like the Thirty Years' War. For each particular country or area where you see witch hunts, there are specific triggers. In other words, Lavac argues there's an overarching crisis mentality in Europe at the time, but that alone is not enough to cause the witch hunts in individual places where we see uh, big witch events or trials of 40 or 50 witches, it's because there are specific events in that region, maybe specific wars that are affecting these people or specific famines. So there are these broad crisis mentality issues, but there are specific cases that trigger each situation in each location. We always have to kind of be aware of the idiosyncratic issues that affect a group of people before they start having witch hunts. We have to look at the context that it's put in. Ultimately, what Lavak is arguing about is social anxiety. And this is the most important point that I want you to draw here, because we are going to talk about lots of examples from witches in other societies. We're going to talk about the Salem witch trials. We're going to talk about witches in our modern time. We're going to talk about witch hunts in our modern times. And in every case, they relate to one core concept, social anxiety. When we have changes in morality, when we have changes in wealth, when we have changes in politics, when we do not know what's, what the fuck is going on and we are frustrated, we experience social anxiety, we don't know what to do, blame a witch. At some point this election season, Donald Trump is gonna call Kamala Harris a witch. At some point, it's gonna happen. I almost guarantee it. Because we are in periods of social anxiety right now. We're in the middle of a race war. We're in the middle of a class war. We're in the middle of a culture war. I can talk about it more outside of class if you're interested, but we are in a period of high social anxiety, increased poverty, changes in morality, political intrigue, fear from a pandemic, inability to depend on religious institutions because nobody can go to church because of the pandemic. This is a period of social anxiety. The witch hunts are coming. And in some ways, look at cancel culture. What is cancel culture? Cancel culture is the social media or cultural equivalent of a witch hunt and a witch execution. And why? Because we're in a period of social anxiety. So later this semester, when I talk about witch hunts, I'm going to bring us back to cancel culture. I'm going to bring us back to this idea. Witch hunts and witch deaths occur because of social anxiety. Not because of magic, not because of witchcraft, but because of the anxiety that exists. Let me like wrap this up into one big ass conclusion. Witch hunts are about cultural changes, economic changes, political changes, uncertainty, instability, anxiety. It's about social tensions within the group, not the actions of a specific individual. It's about everybody freaking the fuck out about all of these different factors. That's why you can have witch hunts in the Middle Ages, you can have witch hunts in colonial America. You can have witch hunts today because the principle is the same. It's about social anxiety. But what that means is it's about the social tensions within that particular group. So it's highly contingent. Like if an area isn't having famine and they aren't having poverty, they may not have witch hunts now. But then all of a sudden they have massive religious change. And so the witch hunts begin. In other words, in each area, there are specific sets of circumstances that create witch hunts. And the witch hunts help to alleviate 
some of those social tensions. So witch hunts are about alleviating tumultuous periods in history. Let's wrap it all up. Thank you so much for listening to this background on witches. And please go back and make sure you understand the Labak text. We're going to be talking about it more in section this week. Thanks so much for your time.